Our faith is for a time such as this. This is why we are people of faith. We're not people of faith just for happy, cheerful, pleasant circumstances that are always going our way. This is the time where we have to lean in to our faith and our belief. Um, my sermon on Sunday was actually based upon remembering the experiences of my community through HIV and AIDS. Um, that initially it was not a comfort to be reminded that we may be facing another season where we are, are fighting for acceptance, fighting for even acknowledgement of, of the needs of our people in our community in the face of what may be a hostile uh, administration. But after some consideration, I realized that was a comfort because we have walked this path before. So we know how to walk this path. And I reminded my community that to be hopeful in difficult circumstances is not wishful thinking, it is sacred memory. Because we worship a God who has brought us out and has brought us through and has brought us home. And that is still the same God whom we love and worship. So it's not just wishful thinking, it is sacred memory to know that God will be with us as we go through this period. Um, and that is a comfort and a consolation. A call to inclusion for me means that if I hear or witness anything which diminishes or demeans the full humanity of anybody else, that it is my job to stand up and say, stop, no. They are my sister, they are my brother. If you are not including them, you are not including me. So it is, for me, we all need to have a higher awareness and accountability to hold one another to that uh, level of inclusion. That when there are those who are being threatened for whatever reason, uh, be it their sexual orientation, their race, their religious affiliation, their nation of origin, their status as, uh, as a citizen or non-citizen, they are still my sister and my brother. I must always remember that their full humanity is something that I must be willing to proclaim and defend as their sister or brother. The community that I serve, MCC Portland, um, MCC around the world has an historic uh, ministry of outreach to the gay, lesbian, bi, trans community, our friends, families, and allies. So absolutely, in this time and in this political climate, there are many in my beloved community who do feel quite threatened uh, that um, advances that have been made in the equal rights and the acceptance of queer people may be rolled back, that once again we will have to defend ourselves to, to redouble our efforts to be um, acknowledged as mutual, uh, mutually respected uh, persons in our country. So yes, absolutely. And there are in fact people who feel um, physical threat. Um, it's very triggering as well for those who have experienced in their churches or in their families of origin messages of rejection or diminishment of them. So even the rhetoric that is public is personally damaging and triggering for people in my communities, in my community and the other communities that I love. For me, it is a way of renewing and recommitting my faith in, in God. It seems a certain irony that in the face of in the face of a potential threat that I do actually feel my faith is stronger. So, um, so after initial numbness <laughs> and sadness and anger, which there are still waves of that, and certainly the unknowns of, of what may be coming in the next months or years, being able to remind myself what is it that I 
believe about God? How do I believe that God and the people of God are with one another in every season and every circumstance, regardless of the nation, regardless of the administration of any country or nation or empire over the course of centuries. So allowing myself to pause and say, people have walked this path before. My ancestors, recent and distant, have walked this path before. I gather strength from that. In a way, that great cloud of witnesses continues to cheer us on in this period of time. So I will not grow weary. Mm -hmm.